the buzz around the opening of an exclusive retail store of your favorite smartphone brand in Mumbai and New Delhi has reached a crescendo. It's a reminiscence of the days when people would queue up outside Apple stores before the launch of new iPhone models. With its first ever stores in India, Apple is committed to growing in the country. One thing, however, will be a miss. Consumers will not spot a single store or even advertisements of other tech majors or competing smartphone brands. Companies like Bose, Dell, Amazon and even Twitter cannot have their products visible in the vicinity of the Apple store. That's because Apple has signed an exclusive agreement with Reliance Geo World Drive in Mumbai. The agreement will provide exclusive space to Apple with guarantee of no competing business in the vicinity. While such agreements are not uncommon in the country, the tech giant's attempt at banning as many as 22 competing brands near its premises is uncommon. So, can brands create exclusive retail zones in India? These clauses which um, ask for exclusivity under commercial contracts stems from Section, 26 of, Section 27 of the Indian Contract Act, which basically is a section relating with restraint of trade. For commercial contracts, this is something which um, has been recently or in the past has been upheld that certain negative covenants uh, are acceptable under Section 27. I think a famous case here was uh, the Gujarat Bottling Company Limited versus Coca-Cola Company. That is one case which sort of, you know, spoke a lot about how rest uh, such clauses or restrictions under commercial contracts if and to the extent they're reasonable, should be and can be upheld. In March 2023, American toys company Toys R Us had to shut down its store in Hyderabad within 24 hours of opening. A rival global toys giant reportedly had a store under the same roof where Toys R Us had opened its store. The rival brand had a no-competition clause with the mall owner. Hence, the legal complexity forced Toys R Us to shut down its store. What does this tell us about competition and creation of exclusive retail zones? So if you look at the Indian Competition Act, uh, specifically Section 3 and Section 4, one deals with your anti-competitive agreements and one deals with abuse of dominance. Okay, And both these sections indicate that certain activities which are of an exclusive nature or certain contracts which are of an exclusive nature need to be scrutinized if they are going to have an impact on competition, okay? Now, if that causes what is called an appreciable adverse effect on competition in that market, then those contracts are deemed anti-competitive. While absence of competition gives brands a better chance to boost sales, the same may also impact consumer choice. Experts believe free market economy should allow all brands to coexist and be driven by the economics of demand and supply. So, what impact, if any, can exclusive retail zones have on consumer choices? If they had a kind of monopolistic and a restrictive, it, it was a restrictive trade practice, if you had the ability to shut out competition from all possible avenues of distribution, then it would be truly anti-competitive. But if it is a, a, a subject only of, of one particular mall or one particular space or one particular media vehicle, then obviously it does not, I mean, it, it, this is a legal question, but from a commonsensical perspective, it does not seem to fall into the restrictive domain. When that power ends up being restrictive and really throttles choice for consumers, uh, that would be a very valid thing to say. The question remains if such exclusive retail zone agreements are beneficial for malls and retail space managers. For example, many of the 22 companies listed as competitors by Apple, such as Hitachi, IBM, Bose, do not deal in either mobile devices or laptops. While many mall owners in India do not prefer exclusive zones, experts say such agreements should not lean towards a monopolistic retail environment. If, say, for example, there is a very popular uh, financial district in a city, okay, and you find all the businesses of a particular type in that financial district. Now, if somebody is prevented an access in that area, which is going to have a significant impact on that person's ability to 
make money or run its business, you have effectively prevented somebody's access into a particular market. Okay, so that's a black and white case over there. As opposed to that, if there is a bit of an ambiguity, then it, both sides will be able to lay out their arguments why it is impacting them or why it is not actually affecting competition. It will depend largely on the facts and circumstances of each case. Commercial contracts asking for exclusive retail spaces are fairly common in India. The Indian law has envisaged provisions for the same. However, there are also provisions for authorities to ensure it does not lead to monopoly. As far as consumer choices are concerned, experts believe a standalone exclusive zone does not necessarily impact it. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.